Okay. This is what I'm about to say is 100% truthful and honestly what is going to be said right now. My own personal experience with connection with Christ through my childhood, <clears throat> God showed me so much. God has showed me that some churches is living for God and has the Holy Spirit within the church. And God also showed me that some churches that God had took me to is to be a witness and watch that some churches doesn't have the Holy Spirit or in the house. And God is the temple. And God always asked me to observe and watch and to educate me to understand more what God is trying to tend to get across. And that is, you have to follow the Lord's will. If you disobey God by not listening to the Lord's will, there will be consequences later on in life for that certain individual that God knows who that person is. Don't matter who, God knows. And outside of that, God don't want no one else to interfere with that person later on in life because God is dealing with it and God is always in control of all things. There are always going to be the Father and Son and Holy Ghost that's connected together. Is what it's being said right now to get across to all Christ's children that Christ does understand prayers and prayers are powerful. God will move mountains and he will move you through his will and glory and a greater purpose. He'll move you places that you will experience it where he bring you out today. God also showed a lot in my life who is following Christ and who isn't through the ages of years of my life and my own personal experience. And God is in control of that. He don't want the rest of the children to interfere with that because Christ is dealing with it. He's in control. And he just asks for us to pray for individuals that needs to be prayers for everyone that needs it. And to pray the hearts will change. And Christ's mission is to change the hearts of men. And when you have a belly full within this world, You know when you have enough and when your heart's heavy and you come to God about it and he will lift you up off your shoulders with some peace of mind and it'll be laid up on his shoulders like he did for us on the cross like he always have been answering our prayers He's in control. Christ has patience for us. And he just want us to return the favor to have patience for him. In his time, not by man's time. It just don't work that way. It really don't, to <laughs> be honest with you. I mean, I mean, if you're going to disobey God and not follow God's will, there's consequences. And it's mostly out of God's children that when Christ is dealing with that certain individual, and Christ only knows who that is. He knows in our hearts that it's following Christ's will and being obedience that Christ would like for it to 
you to understand. He's dealing with it. He's in charge. You have to trust in the Lord. And the Lord always had patience for us over years later in life. With the Son of Man of Christ's children. Christ always had patience. And when you have a belly full within this world. And your heart's heavy. Christ knows who you are. You just come to Him about it. Don't dwell in prayer. Just tell Him sincerely and honest with yourself. To the Lord of Christ, Himself, the Lord of the Father, and Son and the Holy Ghost. And just know that He had patience for us, and He liked for us to be patient with Him, and trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It's very simple to understand. And just uh, know and believe. And Christ know all the believers of who you are. And so, God bless everyone. And God loves us all. And all in Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen.